You have to be a little closer. No, not to me, to the microphone. Notice how he said that quickly. You can be close to me, though, too. Come here. <laughs> Another week. We're back. Henry's back. I'm back. You were on vacation last week. You went to Vermont. How was it? It was good. I mean, it was a wedding. My stepbrother's wedding, and, and that's just how it was, you know. Didn't your stepbrother just get married like Another two weeks one. ago? Another one. You have two stepbrothers two, two who step got brothers. married within two weeks of each other. A month and a half, but yeah. Come over here for a second. Julian, ladies and gentlemen, this is Julian. Hi, everybody. So tell me, tell me about the hat. Public opinion, you know, there's some guys walking around asking fun facts about New York City. And what about the pin? What's the pin on there? It's the uh, Dominican Republic. You already know, baby. Julian, what do you do? What are you doing here? Tell us about yourself. Um, so I cut videos for GBE, Global Brand Equities. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm head of content now for the brand. There we go. So he makes videos. All right, Julian, get to work. Bye. Another legend. <laughs> That's one of the things that happened last week. Julian started. We teased the Kevin Hart tequila stuff. He's running that now. King Julian. Julian from Jamaica, Queens. Okay. Recap. This week, we got some plants. Fiona went out. She bought us some plants. So the space looks really good. We built the desk, too, last week, I guess. Yeah. A new desk so we can grow our team. And people have places to sit. We have six seats now. Last week, we got the store up and running on Wednesday. We've sold 12 hats. We have a bunch more coming. I'm going tonight to pick up some bucket hats. Fresh off the press, new hats. Publicopinion.com slash shop. Dropping off more blanks, blacks. And we're going to go with some pink caps, too. If you bought one, thank you. you it's guys incredible. Are Thanks for supporting public opinion. It means so much to us, genuinely. Imagine seeing a public opinion oh, hat man, on the that's subway. Be cool. Crazy. <laughs> Speaking of seeing things that you know in the wild, we shot this week. Early in the week, we went to Wall Street. We got dressed up in suits because we thought that would be funny. And we filmed in Wall Street, and you know, this is what happened. We're headed to Wall Street, baby. Where money never sleeps. Wall Street trivia. I'm Craig from Houston, Texas. Alyssa. My name is Esther. Louis. What do you do for a living? I am in fashion. I work as an accountant. I'm the vendor over there. I have four questions about Wall Street. If you get them all right, you win 100 bucks. Okay. The New York Stock Exchange. New York Stock Exchange. You're right here, standing next to it. New York Stock Exchange. That's correct. Good job. So you got $1. Thank you can you. either keep the dollar and walk away, or you can go for the $5 question. Let's go for the five. Yeah, we'll lose a dollar. Why is it called Wall Street? Oh my god, I'm going to assume that there was like a wall at one point. Who built the wall? Oh, no. I, don't, I have no idea. Um... Are the people from Amsterdam. Yeah, the Dutch sellers. I got you. So there was a wall that was built here okay. by the Dutch. Okay. The Dutch called it Wallstraat after that, and the name stuck. This is going to be great table topics. And they had a wall here that was divided between the English and the, the Americans. They used to be fighting here on Wall Street. So you didn't get the date right, but there was a wall. I'll give you that. So do I lose my five bucks? You lose your money. That's that. But you tried. I'm, I'm not for sure about that, but I'm going to say... Fort Knox. Somewhere in Europe. It's uh, the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve. You can sure. either take the $20 and walk away, or you can risk $20 for the $100 question. Can you take the 20 You can take the <laughs> yes. 20 I'll give it to you, but, I, but we're going to still play the last one and yes. see if you know it. Okay, the $100 question. What president was inaugurated on Wall Street? I like want to say Washington because that's when, like... The Capitol was still in New York. George Washington. You knew it. <laughs> Thank you anyway. Well, you took the 20 and you moved on. There you go. What did you think about the Wall Street shoot? I feel like we learned why it didn't work, which was we went in the morning. Everyone's rushing to work. We should go afternoon, like when after the bell, when, when the, the bell rings. Yeah, when, when it closes. When the markets close. And then we went later in the week here, and we went to Lincoln Center. We're in Lincoln Center. Lots of people we can ask questions to. Eating ice cream on a hot day. Where are you guys from? Atlanta, but I live here. I'm from Jersey. How long have you lived in New York? 30 years. Since 1979. Since 1979. Uh, three years. We asked four questions. If you get all four right, uh -huh. you win $100. I'm going all the way. See if my little two years of college pays off. The US Open of Tennis is held in which borough? I've never been to the US Open. Queens. Queens. Oh, I in Queens. Queens? Queens, New York. That's right. So now you won $1. You can keep $1 and quit, or you can go to the $5 question. I'm going to risk it all. What color is the symbol of the G train? Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's the G train. Yeah, the G train. Green. No, it's not. 456 is green. Think about the think about the the name the G train. Everyone said it's, got, it's the G train. That's it's not it's not green. I'm it's gonna G. say green. You promise it's not. I'm riding I'm, I'm, green I'm with Parker. Green. Brown. Green. Green. 
orange. Correct answer is green. What? <laughs> what are the three colors of the flag of New York City? Have you seen it before? Think about when they do press conferences with the mayor and stuff. He's always got the flag in the back. Blue. Blue? Blue is one of them, that's right. Red? Mm, not red. I think orange. That's one of them. Would white be one of the colors? White is one of the colors. White? White, that's right. Um, New York sports teams. Orange? That's right. Yes! What's her name? Casey. Casey, you gotta watch out for her because she keeps misleading you guys. I wouldn't even, Casey's anything she has off. to say, I would Casey just doesn't want us to see, it, want to see us winning. Uh, black? Is that your final answer? I think I'll go with the black. You're gonna go with black? Yeah. I'm gonna look right in the camera and embarrass yeah. myself. Blue, white, and orange. That's correct. Oh, really? Oh my god! We're at 20. You wanna keep the 20 and walk away? Or do you wanna risk it? 100 is like a lot of drinks. 20 is like one. Uh, I'm going to walk with the 20 bucks. You're gonna walk with the 20. <laughs> there you go. You're a winner. For $100, the word Jamaica, as in Jamaica, Queens, okay. comes from the Algonquin Native American word for what? Well, the name Jamaica. Trading? They were probably, yeah, they were doing some sort of trading. Trade. Fur. I'll give you guys fur. It's a fur, but you gotta be specific. Beaver. 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 Final answer, beaver, that's correct. <laughs> Are you kidding? Congratulations. Everyone was just friendly and really wanted to get to know us, get to know Jack, so it was like very conversational in a way that I think is great. Like I love to see that. And I love seeing the feed just build up. Every day, the feed grows, because we post a short video every day. We walked from Lincoln Center down towards Midtown, and we were on 57th Street, and we ran into Garrison. You know, Garrison, you guys have met before on the show, I believe. He's, he's in here shooting for Wallaco. Yeah. Great guy, great photographer. He was doing his like street photography project as we're asking people trivia. So we got Garrison on the trivia show. We just ran into Garrison. Awesome. What are you doing out here? I'm taking um, a photo here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you want to play? <laughs> what do you got? I got four questions. And then we ran into some more people, did more trivia. He took some pictures of us. It's like, it's the magic of New York. Yeah, it was so funny. We ran into him on 58th and Madison. I've been on 58th and Madison maybe three times in my whole life. Yeah, no reason to be up there. I mean, it's, it's fun, though, up there. It's cool. It's like nice to see uh, the hustle and bustle of corporate New York. Uh-oh, uh, is that, is that let's Marjorie? See. Marjorie. Welcome. Hi there. After you met us on the street, you thought really nothing else of it? Oh, yeah. The reason I stopped initially was, remember I asked you about the traffic signal? Yeah. And the lights were out, and the traffic was zooming past. There wasn't a cop in sight. So I said to you, I asked you, have you seen any cops or something? You said no, and I said, okay. And then I asked what you were doing. What we've realized, what makes the show fun and interesting, is educating people about their surroundings, about their local, wherever they're at. And what was great about speaking with you is that you are knowledgeable of this stuff, and I think you're also, like us, interested in making people a little bit more knowledgeable about their surroundings and all that. Or embarrassing them that they don't know anything. <laughs> I mean, how do you feel about these people who don't know anything? Well, you can't know until you know, but you have to want to know. And today, too many of the younger people, they don't think they need to know because they have their devices. You went on vacation after we filmed the video, and then you came back and someone said to you, oh, I love your video. While I was away, I saw this message. All it said was something like, saw your video, you were good. I figured it was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> then a friend of mine, Nicole, who you got in touch with, she then texted me. My first reaction, in all honesty, is I was pissed off, because I didn't know this was happening. And she said, but you got X amount of likes and all these comments, and I'm like, really? And you did get TikTok now, and you've been commenting. Oh, I thanks people who defended me, because they thought, they thought you were insulting. They were defending you, yeah. It was poorly edited, because that wasn't the intention. I knew that, Do you I didn't get angry, I, I no, laughed. I, I was making fun of him, for not knowing, really. Yeah. And my lady, I would look at this old broad nose. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> There's all these, all these comments that I'm sure you saw that were like, Marjorie for mayor? Are you gonna run for mayor? Were I younger, I might. I have some new questions here that the three of you can collectively try and answer. Oh. Interested. First question. 
Name the two tunnels between New York City and New Jersey. Holland and Lincoln. You're from New Jersey. <laughs> right. The neighborhood Jackson Heights is located in which borough? Queens. There you go. That was tough. How much is a single ride on a New York City ferry? Oh, the, yeah. the little ones that go around. You know those blue and white ones? Yeah, Have I don't You been know. on it? No. You should. They're great. Pay me. I'll go on. I'll pay <laughs> you to go on. It's 275 For $100. The oldest standing bridge in New York City. Wait, in Manhattan? It's in Manhattan. It connects Manhattan and the Bronx. Hunts, not Hunts Point. Um, it's called the High Bridge. I don't know that about the bridge. There you go. <laughs> I feel like I should have given you that, you know, a couple weeks ago. Everybody else thought so, too. Are there questions that you would ask? There's one question that you could use if you bet with people in a bar. How many streets in Manhattan have the word Broadway in the name. The only one that I could think well, of is actual. East Broadway and West Broadway. Right. So there's three. Wrong. <laughs> Pay up. What's the other one? Old Broadway. Where's Old Broadway? It's up in Harlem. Here we go. We got to go up there. He says one. West Broadway is so. <laughs> so embarrassing. Good. Anyway, okay. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much, Marjorie. Lovely to meet you while I can't. Lovely to meet you. And that's the show. That's the show. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. My name is Dwayne from Harlem. I'm Dijon from Far Rockaway. Dijon and Dwayne. What do you do here in the park? Peace, sanitation, I'm holocultural. But I'm helping out sanitation today.